Hello everybody, welcome to Stormy Coasters. Today, I'm here at Dollywood for the first time in like four years. Uh, I'm pretty excited. We're about to get on the tram right now. Uh, so, yeah, we'll, we, uh, we're doing that. I just got off of the tram. First ride of the day. Pretty fun, pretty relaxing. We're most likely going to Fire Chaser Express now for the first ride of the day. Like, for the first ride in the park. But the tram was a nice relaxing journey. I got some nice footage of Wild Eagle and another tram that we were passing by. So yeah, it was a pretty nice ride. Let's get into the park now. I have made it into the park. Um, now I'm pretty sure Fire Chase is going to be our first thread. So let's do that. I just got off of Fire Chaser Express. That was a pretty fun roller coaster. It gave like three decent airtime pops. Um, wasn't the most crazy, but it was really fun. I definitely recommend riding it. If you come to Dollywood, that was really good. Now that Fire Chaser Express has been ridden, we shall be headed to Wild Eagle since it's right next door and likely doesn't have a long line because it has a very high capacity and right now it's not one of the peak times of the, of the day. I'm not sure whether I'm excited for this ride or not because I don't really like the best restraints but it's been a while so it, it'll probably be better than I remember. I just got off of Wild Eagle. That wasn't as bad as I remember. Um, the restraint still crushed me, but the first drop was pretty forceful. Um, I grayed out on the first vertical loop. There's only one vertical loop anyways, so I don't know why I specified the first, but on the vertical loop I grayed out. But overall it was pretty fun. Do watch out for those restraints for the, the restraints though, because they can hurt. Uh, we are probably now headed to Thunderhead. It's like a five minute line right now, so not bad at all. Um, Thunderhead does not normally get a very long line except for like the very beginning of the day. It's been a couple hours since the park opened, so let's go to Thunderhead. All right, so on the way to Thunderhead, I decided to ride Drop Line 
and I tricked my mom into riding it because um, I told her it was Thunderhead. But she thought it was the whole time. Yeah. Wow. Until we got uh, like to, pretty much to the ride vehicle. Um, a little bit before that though. But yeah, I enjoyed it. She screamed, but I, I think she had fun. Um, but now we're going to ride Thunderhead. All good. I've just gotten off of Thunderhead. Um, that was a pretty fun ride. Probably my favorite ride so far. Um, there it goes. Yeah, it was really fun. It gave some nice ejector pops of air time. A little floater mixed in here and there. Um, the ride operators were amazing. I did, they didn't staple me. I was stapled by the end of the ride, but it didn't, like, the restraints are pretty good, actually. So, definitely check Thunder's Head out if you're come to Dollywood. All right, I'm headed to Big Bear Mountain now. It'll be my 95th roller coaster, so I'm just five away from 100. Uh, I'm pretty excited for it. Haven't ridden it yet. I'm expecting it to be pretty good. Not like, not wow, but I'm expecting it to. Uh, I'm expecting it to be pretty fun. Um, it'll probably feel like good gravy at Holiday World, and that was a really fun ride made by the same people. So it's got the same type of flat bars. Good Gravy had really good lap bars, so hopefully uh, Big Bear Mountain is fun as well. Big Bear Mountain has been ridden. It was my 95th roller coaster. Well, it didn't deliver any airtime. It was really fun and really comfortable. The track was pretty smooth. Um, I definitely recommend riding it if you come to Dollywood. You do get wet on the ride, but just a little, and you will dry off at the end of the ride. Um, anyways, I'm going to eat now. I'm not sure what, but all I know is I'm going to eat. And I may sneak a ride in on Thunderhead. Just maybe. So, yeah. Let's do this. I don't know what ride I'm riding next. Probably Lightning Rod, since we'll be right by there. But let's go. Now that I have eaten, 
it is time to ride world famous lightning rod at Dollywood. I am really excited for this. I just got off the lightning rod. That was incredible. Like, oh my gosh, that was insane. The airtime was crazy. That first wave turn, it's like, <laughs> what on earth just happened? Um, the quadruple down was pretty good, but yeah, oh my gosh, that was insane. I don't know what I'm doing now, um, probably go to ride like Blazing Fury or something, but yeah, Lightning Rod was amazing, definitely check it out if you visit Dollywood, assuming it's open. Last time I went, Lightning Rod was not open. Anyways, yeah, I want to check out Blazing Fury because I remember liking that. It was a pretty fun ride. So, we'll see how the line is. If it's too long, then yes, it's a no-go. But, um, hopefully, the line is short. Or at least kind of short. I am going the wrong way. Um, eh, that's all right. I'll just reroute myself. Welcome back, guys. How's our ride? All right. Well, we're going to pop over straight. I'll leave you all to the next two things left. Have a great day here. I just did Blazing Fury in the back row. That was a pretty fun ride. Um, I'm not sure exactly what I want to do now. I want to do, I think I want to do Tennessee Tornado, but I'm not sure how long the line is. Um, but yeah, ten, um, Blazing Fury, very fun ride. Um, I definitely recommend Blazing Fury when you come to some if you come to Dollywood. But I'm going to go into the entrance for Tennessee Tornado. See how long this line is. See if it's worth it to ride. I decided to ride Tennessee Tornado. We're getting back, bro. I'm looking forward to it. First time I rode it, I wasn't too impressed. Let's see if this makes it. Let's see if this pumps it up, in my opinion.
I just did Tennessee Tornado. That was a really fun ride. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do next. I kind of want to film Tennessee Tornado a little bit. Um, again, I got it in the back row. It was a little rough, but mostly pretty smooth. I would say that um, it was definitely better this time than last time. But last time, uh, it was night, so I just couldn't see anything. Anyways, I'm, gonna, I'm just going to film this for a couple of minutes. I've decided to ride Mystery Mine, and I'm getting back uh, front row. Let's do this. I just rode Mystery Mine. It was okay. I rode it right before it broke down. Um, it literally broke down while I was on it, so I was on it for just a few minutes longer than a normal operation would be. I kind of want to ride Drop Light again. Um, that was that was a pretty fun ride. So. You know what? I'm going for drop line. Guys, if this keeps our take we'll get to the next one. Alright, remember guys, we're going hot, no cold, no bad, no I just did drop line. That was really good. I'm headed toward Thunderhead now. I'm probably going to stay there until like 8 o'clock or something. And then head over to Lightning Rod. Because... Lightning Rod's fun. I want to get one more ride on it uh, before the end of the night. I want to get a night ride on it. So yeah, let's do this. I just got an incredible ride on Road 2 on Thunderhead. I'm gonna ride again. I'm gonna ride for a while. Um, I'll probably ride like two or three more times before I head down to Lightning Rod. Thunderhead was wild. Honestly, I think it's better than Elrod. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that again. Guys, let's make some noise! See you guys soon. Last ride of the night, Thunderhead. Row 2. Let's do this. That's going to end my incredible day at Dollywood. I got last ride of night on Thunderhead, as I've already told you. It was insane. Like, Thunderhead is running relentless tonight. Definitely, the, definitely my favorite in the park. Row 2 is absolutely my favorite row. Um, it's stronger than row 1 for some reason. The back is just okay. Front. Also, really good, um, but yeah, Thunderhead was amazing. This part was amazing. I'm going to wrap up this video here. I hope you enjoyed. Good night. It is the day after Dollywood. I'm riding like two mountain coasters today. Goats on the Roof is one of them. They do have goats on the roof right now. That's pretty cool. So I'm pretty excited for this mountain coaster. I haven't ridden a mountain coaster in like four years uh, with Rocky Top Mountain Coaster. I'll also be riding Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster today. So I'm pretty excited.
I just did Goats on the Roof Mountain Coaster. That was a pretty fun Alpine coaster. I think I like Rocky Top better, but this was really fun. It did break on a lot of the turns, but on the uh, last couple of helixes, I didn't feel it break too much. Uh, there was a lot of speed, so it was quite enjoyable. It is now time for a Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster. I've made it to a Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster, and I shall ride it next. I'm pretty excited for this one. I believe it's like second longest in North America. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let's do this. I just got off Smoky Mountain Alpine Coaster. I did that twice. Um, the first time, the person in front of me kept breaking the whole time, so it felt very sluggish. I was crawling around every turn. Um, there wasn't any like air time. The second time was a lot better. I was going full speed every turn. I got tiny little pops of air time here and there, so. That, that was a lot better. I'm glad that I did it twice. Anyways, I am going to end this video right here. I hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.